one of the most historic rappers of all time is all now time. giving fans the opportunity it's... to make money off of his music. Nas is about to release his first songs as NFTs. What's going on, everyone? Um, welcome back to Making with Chris G, the Nifty Music Show. I got my boy Greg Roulette here. Greg, what's going on? What's happening, man? Excited to uh, talk NFTs and the music space and how technology and music are converging and always just fun talking to you, man. It's like our it's like our weekly yeah. catch up now. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's, it's, it's fun that we're doing this. Uh, and Happy New Year to, to you and the fam and everybody else that's listening. You so, as well. So the first story, well, so the main story we're going to look at today is is Nas releasing uh, the, his next two singles, Ultra Black and Rare on Royal, which is the same platform that I've talked about um, a, a couple of weeks ago that Blau released his uh, single on. And that first single is now worth six million dollars. There's no record label giving out six million dollars for a single. Uh, so pretty, pretty exciting. Um <laughs> Just real quick, let me uh, give, give everybody a quick overview. So here's some stats on Nas, right? 12 million monthly listeners on Spotify, 6.2 million followers on Facebook. Uh, of course, one of the most legendary rappers of all time. Some will argue he's probably one of the greatest rappers of all time. Uh, so here's a song, Ultra Black, that, that is about to come out uh, Tuesday next week. So there's 760 NFTs available. They're going to be in three different tiers. You have the gold tier, platinum, and diamond. And as w you know, what Royal is, uh, fifty percent of the royalties that come in from streaming, the the fans get that money. So instead of a label getting that money, the fans are now the label. So the fans are incentivized to help promote an artist that they love. And out of these NFTs, he has five hundred at fifty bucks, uh, two fifty at two fifty, and ten at five thousand. They all have different perks, different percentages, and royalties that that you can earn. Uh, so you know. Just an example on the gold, you can earn 0 0.0143 in royalties, uh, and you can have some access to other things like access to hip hop 50 Discord, and uh, you get some merch in the platinum, and some tickets and uh, signed vinyl in, in the diamond. Uh, Greg, do you have any? What, what are your initial thoughts on on this style of NFT? Right, because we looked at the the Mike Shinoda one last time, which was really yeah. just one level, and you get really got nothing else besides the song, and now you're getting all these other perks. You can actually make money off of this. Yeah, so I think the they did a really good job at making the perks meaningful to Nas's community um, and not going like extensive with like hundreds of different perks um, because then it starts to get muddy, starts to get lost. Um, you know, when you sent me this, I was like five grand like that, yeah. that, that. That's a lot. Right. Like no matter how you look at it. But, you know, if you're a super Nas fan, there's only 10 of these. Right. So mm -hmm. it's very limited. The two VIP concert tickets, the exclusive signed vinyl, you know, if you're a producer, an artist, something like that, and you get now this video conversation with Hitboy, like, that's mm -hmm. cool. Like, now you're getting behind the music. How was the song made? Like, whatever right. it is. Um, so I think there's some really cool stuff here. So uh, I have some questions for you because I know you've been yeah. paying attention to Royal more than I have. Um the streams that come in for this song, do they like, and I know you have some math and I want you to talk about that in just yeah. a second, <laughs> but the streams that come from this song, do they have to come through Royal? Can they come via any platform? How does that, like, how are you counting, like, let's say plays on Spotify versus Apple music versus it, are, are you limited in where an art, like I'm thinking this, not just from Nas, but what can artists learn from this? Right. Mm -hmm, and, sure. and what do they get out of it? And again, this might be something you've talked about before, but to me, this is where my head goes of like, all right, well, if I get a million plays on Spotify and half a million plays on Apple, and then there's some YouTube stuff. And then like, how do we aggregate that? So I'm getting my 0.001% of the song um, <laughs> paid through. Like, just walk me through a little from what you understand of the logistics of that 50% of royalties. Sure. So for the, for the Blau um, uh, NFT, I read the contract for it and it's pretty simple. So it's very clear that you're not a part owner, right? So the artist still owns the, the track 100%. So you're just uh, getting a license to earn part of the royalties. And it's, all, it's very specific to just streaming. And it's not just Spotify. It could be Spotify, Apple Music, any any streaming platform out there. Um, the fans get, get that percentage of, of the streaming royalties that come in. So um and there's no other so you're not getting any money off of youtube you're not getting money off of radio plays it's just strictly streaming um and you know some artists that make a lot of money they make make really good money on streaming but uh so, so speaking of the math is you know on spotify for example you get about four thousand dollars per million streams and if you had that let's say you had that gold level you got a million streams in you would get about 50 cents per per million streams so it's not a lot of money that we're talking about now 
Again, it's all the streams collectively on all the different platforms, I mean, including like Pandora and, and things like that. Um, so there's opportunity to make some money. I don't know how how much money. Like as an investor, the way I look at it is there's there's two potential benefits. One, there is the benefit you can make potentially make some money off of streams. Um, or there's also a benefit you can resell the NFT. I know we tried to buy that Mike Shinoda NFT when it right went on sale, and immediately on OpenSea it was like triple or quadruple the price. Um, so you could either, if you, you know, either you're a hardcore fan and you just really want it because you want to support Nas, or you looking at it from an investor perspective and think about how can I make some money. Um, I I like the idea of recurring revenue, right? So I'm actually thinking about I'm gonna buy uh, one of these NFTs. I'm gonna try at least if I if I can get it. Um, but I like the idea of having other things making money for for you. I think that's how you build financial wealth and financial freedom. Um, can live the life you love, as I, as I always say. And th that's what I want to see. I want to see how much money in royalties do you actually get. And then the way it works, the way you get paid the royalties, you know, Spotify doesn't necessarily pay the royalties immediately, like every week. It's either monthly, quarterly, or every six months, and the contract specifies that. Um, so it's basically whenever they get the payouts, they automatically distribute it to all the, the pe different people that own uh, a piece of the NFT. That's cool. I love that. I love that breakdown. Now, let me be a uh, negative Nancy devil's yeah. advocate for a second <laughs> on this um, only now to play to kind of the investment side. So mm -hmm. a, a song gets about a million plays and you're earning about 50 cents right at that, mm -hmm. at the gold tier. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so Nas just released an album, I believe a week ago, two weeks ago uh, called magic. Really, really good out. By the way, he's released three albums in the last like year and a half. So wow. he's on fire right now with releasing mm -hmm. stuff. Um, the, the number one streaming song from the new album is called Wave Gods, and it only has 3.3 million streams. Mm -hmm. So therein lies a bit of a, uh, uh, of a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Is that if this song, you know, if it's just another song, I'm not saying it's a throwaway, but if it's just another song, meaning he's dropped three albums, now he's releasing two more singles, he's like, and now what if two weeks from now he's on to the next thing, Right. right. This song might only end up with, you know, a few million streams, which is still cool. You're still owning something. Like, I'm not trying to, like, I still think the idea is really cool. Mm -hmm. My biggest problem is that will these artists stand by these NFTs and help these NFTs to create more value for the fans over time? Or is this a cash grab and then you're on kind of the next thing? Or you're kind of getting your feelers in, like, all right, cool, here's what we did. But then they're on to the next thing really mm -hmm. fast. I know mm -hmm. we did um, the Shinoda one a, a couple weeks ago. Well, the launch was great. There was a lot of hype probably the week after the launch. Actually, the price, the floor price started rising, but there's been nothing since, right? right. Like Shinoda hasn't even talked about it. He's not even tweeting like, check out this cool ziggurat. Like, and therefore now as a fan, I'm like, well, I just invested a couple hundred bucks on right. this NFT. Are you going to support that? And maybe he will. Maybe he'll come out and give like, you know, there's, it doesn't have to, the roadmap doesn't have to be set here, but my fear is that and it doesn't have to be Nas, and I'm not picking on Nas. Maybe he's mm -hmm. doing this altruistically, and it's awesome. Yeah. Like, I don't know him, right? But <laughs> if he releases this, you know, he sells his 10 diamonds. He makes his 50 grand. He sells, you know, the next level out, 250 at 250, 500 at 500. He makes a bunch of money. It starts selling on secondary. You know, he might make a good amount of money from the sale, but the song might not do anything mm -hmm. to pay back the people who have now invested into this. Um, and... Now, are there going to be some that crush, right? Like the one that you right. just talked about, you know, where you're making millions of dollars off a single. But I, I think there was a big push to make that a legit single as opposed to just another track mm -hmm. that you're putting out. Does that does that make sense? Like that's yeah. kind of that's my fear with this. Mm -hmm. Well, so my my thoughts on on this is well, one thing I do like is that there is an incentive, right? So I've I've talked about for for months now where. You know, this is this is a way of getting rid of the record labels, making fans part owners, and letting the fans uh, give them the opportunity to earn some some royalties of of the music. And that way, Absolutely. instead of having one backer, right? So if everybody if these NFTs sell out, now he has seven hundred and sixty people that are invested in the song that are now probably going to promote it way better than any record label is going to promote it. And you know, seven hundred sixty people are now all of a sudden on social media posting the songs and tweeting about it. I feel like that will give the songs some some extra traction. And then the one thing I like about this NFT, and again, there's so many NFT projects. Who who knows what is legit? What's gonna, um, wh where is there gonna be follow up? Right. The, the thing that gives me confidence in in this is that Nas is an investor in Royal. So, yeah. Um, 
Nas invested a lot of money into this. Uh, Blau, of course, did. And there's a bunch of other artists. Let me pull it up real fast. Chainsmokers are investors. Logic, uh, Stefan Don, um, Joyner Lucas. You have um, CAA, the you know, major agency, mm -hmm. is invested in this. Coinboy, Coinbase Ventures. So there's a lot of good investors behind this, which gives me confidence in this platform in Royal. Um, like, I mean, I I'm not too excited about NFTs where I get nothing else out of it. So I think the whole goal with NFTs is what else do you get? Can you earn extra money right. off of it? Can you, is there an exclusive membership with it where you can maybe get access to tickets, access to meet and greets, um, you know, and, and of course, exclusivity is going to be important with that stuff. So like the diamond level, if that included a, a meet and greet with Nas, then those 10 NFTs are completely worth it. So I've, I totally agree. Like, it depends on what else comes with it. And for me, as, as a, as more of an investor than, I mean, yes, I'm a fan of Nas, but I, I look at everything that I buy, especially NFT wise, like as an investment, not really, right. I'm not spending $50 for a song as, as a fan. I'm doing, I'm doing it cause I want to figure out how I can monetize this. Um, yeah. But I think you will have a lot of people who will spend $50 as a fan. And as you said, this is the part that I, I kind of, as I went through my negative rant, mm -hmm. the positive rant is now that the person who spends $50 on this, He's probably going to share that track every day on Twitter, on Spotify. Yeah. He's going to tell his buddies about it. He's going to add it to playlists so that oh, yeah. it gets more spins. Like he, you know, uh, and also you don't, I, I've talked about this. I think you and I have talked about this forever is that there's this silent majority of people out in the world who love things, but don't necessarily tell you that they love things because they're not incentivized mm -hmm. to tell you that they love things. Right, exactly. Now you're incentivized to tell people that, Hey, you know, I'm a backer in this Nas track. Um, mm -hmm. is, is there an A&R? Is there a person who's like putting together the, the hip hop, like gold playlist on Spotify, mm -hmm. who now buys this for 50 bucks and now he's incentivized to put it onto the playlist, yeah, right? Exactly. Like there's all of these different things. Are there, you know, is, you know, DJ clue going to come in and buy one of the $250 sure. versions and he puts it now he's playing it on hot 97, which then gets it more spins on Spotify because people mm -hmm. want to hear the track. Like that's the part that I think is cool. And it, it builds this groundswell, but I think mm -hmm. you have to activate your army of you know, thousand true fans, you know, in this sure. case it is, it's, it really is a thousand true fans. It's what mm -hmm. 770, 760, whatever the mm -hmm. number is, that's a thousand true fans. And, uh, and I think that's, what's going to create, like, that's the opportunity, mm -hmm. right? For sure. Um, so, but you're also now putting the power into the fans hands. They could obviously drop the ball just as well as they could yeah. run with the ball. So, but I think this is really cool. Like as, as you kind of broke it down, like that's the part that's, that's exciting is you're empowering the fans to be your record label, to do the promotion, mm -hmm. to do the distribution, to talk about the track. Um, you know, so I, I think there's some, some cool stuff there, um, mm -hmm. as well that could now get this track to 10 million plays, 20 million plays plus where now, at least at the $50 level, um, do you know the, what's the break even at the $50 level, like 20 million streams, 30, like what's the ballpark? So I said about a, a 50 cents, right? Per million. So what is that? Is that a hundred million? About a hundred million. Yeah. hundred yeah. million. Yeah. Streams. I mean, so that's, that's, that's a lot. That, that's a lot of streams, right? Yeah. It's not unreal. It's not impossible. Um, but it's a lot of streams. Uh, I'm looking at uh, Nas on Spotify right now. Um, it, he does have songs with over 100 million streams. They're older songs from his catalog. If I Ruled the World, New York State of Mind, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. So he does have tracks that have those kinds of numbers. Um, but again, with the fan support, you know, it, it's possible. Yeah. And, and just a comparison, too. So the, the, I wanted to look up on Spotify real quick, that that Blau track. So it was called Worst Case. Um, right now on Spotify, it has three million streams. So I think Nas is a much more popular, like much pop, more popular artist than than Blau. Um, I, I don't know if you've, you've heard. Have you heard of Blau? I've, I haven't before I started. Only, doing this stuff. only through you, only through yeah. our conversations about this stuff. Yeah, and so I've even asked my students in school, like nobody's like none of my students have heard of Blau. And that's you know, as we're talking about 200 students, and for him to get three million streams off off of this, and this is nothing against against Blau, this is just saying not a lot of people know who he is. Of course, he has a he has a couple million streams, monthly streams on Spotify. So of course there's enough people that know who he is, and that's the beauty about the world today. You don't have to be a super popular artist to make a ton of money in this industry. Um but someone is not that well known has three million streams on on their song about a month later, so it gives it's a little bit encouraging to see okay what is Nas going to do and that's just Spotify like what how many other streams does he have on on other platforms? Um, yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, so cool, man. I, I love this. Uh, again, it's going live Royal.io uh, as we're recording this. Uh, it's about what four days away. So it's what next Tuesday, mm -hmm. uh, right? Tuesday 
Uh, this will be going live. So if you guys are interested in this, head on over to royal.io. And uh, hopefully uh, you get to pick one up and we get to talk about the process. Yes. Uh, Cause I also love talking about it from the fan perspective. We did it with Shinoda, like what the process was like and being let down with the launch. And like, there's so much early tech that's being used here. So um, even if you don't get it, I'm interested to see, you know, how you went in, like how, mm -hmm. you know, the, all of that. So I think that's, that's really cool. Um, um, let's jump I'm into try. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's do it, man. Live the life you love.